all in this video over here that I really wanted to get the arch built over the entranceway. But of course I said I was waiting for some wood to arrive there. Or looking around for wood rather. I'd never had any wood. So what I found is some scrap wood. Windows are 600 millimeters wide, so I'm going to show you the mold that I built for those windows. Similar to the other mold, just the size of course is different. There's a lot of ways of doing this, but I've looked up on the internet, looked on YouTube, and this seems to be the best way. I actually made wedges that fit in the sides over here, and the reason for that is to keep the mold securely in position. <laughs> What I'm going to do today now is I'm going to make a form that goes over that block work. I want to make a lintel, I want to cast a lintel that goes right from the end of the wall right to the other because this is also a carrier for the roof. So I felt just a little bit secure that if there was a lintel right across the top over here then it's just going to make the building a little bit more sound. Um, it doesn't state so on the plan, it's not required, but I feel that I would like to do that. What I'll also do is I'm going to cut into the block work on the sides and make a hole there so that my, my rebar goes right into the wall, makes a bend and goes down, which ties the side walls into this whole lintel on the top. Going too good today. takes me from point A to point B. It's about 35 degrees today, hard to believe. I'm not sure if you can see what I've done inside there. I cut the hole out with the angle grinder and then I've drilled a lot of holes in here on the sides and that's where the rebar that you saw me cutting and bending there, that comes around the corner over here. So it comes down here, four of them, two go this way and the other two come from this side and they go inside there. Now the way I fill the holes there, you don't want the cement to go all down here because this is hollow, this wall. So I just use cement bags. Um, PPC cement, whatever you've got. You've obviously got a lot of cement bags. I used a lot of mine for the bagging of the walls. You can see they're pretty smooth. So I've wet it and then I've rammed it down those holes just to stop, stop all the concrete from going down the holes. I want it more to go in the sides here and rest on the top here, of course. Once this is boxed out, it'll be much better. <laughs> Don't laugh 
off at my socks. The top of my boots are killing the top of my legs. Okay, so there the rebars in place. I've tied them together. I used brick force. I just want to show you in South Africa, this is brick force. So I decided to use the brick force to uh, you do the spacing and just to keep them apart. And it's, it's all worked out quite well. I'm quite excited. I'm all ready for throwing tomorrow. I, I can cast this uh, piece of concrete tomorrow. What I'm going to do down here is I'm going to put rebar down this column. The concrete will be cast down the column all the way to the top of this block here. And then when I continue with the gable, it will just go all the way up. I'll, I'll extend onto the rebar as I go and fill in with concrete as I go on. The holes that you see there, I'm going to fill them up. I've got something in my eye. I think it's a grain of sand or something. 